Hello, my name's Jenny McKenzie and today I'm starting a series of short videos about the basics of watercolour. Um, I'm going to start with what I feel is the most important part of getting the equipment together for watercolour. It can be very daunting so I'm only going to talk about the things that I use and that work for me. First of all, brushes. This is my favourite brush. It's a rosemary, size 8, um, a pointed round brush. I use it all the time. Sometimes when I'm working bigger I use the same sort of brush, it's a 10, or even bigger work I use a 12. And really I don't use any other brushes. These have got nice fine points, they hold lots of water, they're very um, inexpensive. Um, they're not sable or anything too uh, sophisticated like that, but they work really well and they're very hard wearing. This one I've had for about three years and I use it most days. Um, you can get a sable and a synthetic mix brush. This is also a rosemary. Um, they're quite nice. This is a sable brush. Um, I've had it for quite a long time um, and it's great but they're very expensive, so stick with the, the, these basics. When I'm out sketching, I also use a wet brush, which has got water in it, and it's just, I don't have to take a pot of water, I just take this wet brush. Um, so that's the first thing about brushes, a size eight, a size 10, and a size 12. And that, that is all I need. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the paper that we use for watercolour. It can be a minefield but I'm just going to talk to you about what I use. I use this rough 300 gram watercolour paper and it looks like this. I prefer it on this what's called a glue pad and it's it's good because you don't have to tape down your work, you can paint directly onto that. 300 grams means you can use quite a bit of water without it wrinkling and, and bending. Um, so that's, it comes in this sort of size, which is um, A4, or, or this A3 size also. I prefer rough because I like the texture. But there are others, there are smooth papers, and there are also many different brands, um, some more expensive and some less expensive. I particularly like this, I get on with it really well. Okay, then now we're going to start to talk about paint. Now, watercolour paint um, is, a, is a minefield of different types of paint, um, but the very basic is the the pans of paint. Now this is a Winsor & Newton uh, half pan palette set um, and it's very useful for going out sketching, very nice range of colours. You don't really need any more than those. Uh, so that's, that's the, the basic sort. You can also get paints Winsor & Newton or Sennelier in tubes and what I do with tubes is I um, squeeze some out into my palette um, and then use a palette like this. I've got different sized ones, a smaller one for going out sketching, a bigger one for working in the studio. Um, so I just squeeze a little bit out and then it's ready to use. It doesn't matter if it dries, watercolour can be livened up with a spray of water um, and it'll come back to life. I call it waking up your watercolour. Um, I particularly like um, Ludlow colours, mainly because they're 80% pigment and uh, really bold colours and a good density and good light fastness too. And I use them in, from these big pots. So I palette knife a little bit of these into my palette so that I've got a ready to use um, palette there. I don't use them straight out of the pot. These, these also come in the little little pots and that's equivalent to a 5mm tube. Um, so when I'm using a watercolour I spray it, wake it up and then it's ready to use. I use a palette like this so that I can have access to it and I know what I'm doing. 
It's also a good idea when you've got your colours to make yourself a little colour chart so that you know what colours are where and where they sit in your palette. After a short time you'll get so used to it that you'll know exactly where they are and which colours are which. You won't need that anymore. I've done this new one especially for today. And finally I just want to mention um, about uh, uh, pencils. Um, when I go sketching I sketch in colour and I don't draw first but a lot of people do like to draw first. I use a sketchbook like this. I use 300 gram paper for, for watercolour sketching but the pencil is important. I use a 4B and 4B is the best pencil. If it's got a B after it it's softer. Anything with an H on it is too hard and if you're using a pencil and rubbing out if you haven't used a soft pencil you'll get an indentation in your paper which means that the paint when you put it on will flow into the indentation and you'll see you're rubbing out as well as the colours that you're meant to be putting on there. So just a 4B simple, simple um, um, request, just use a soft pencil. So just a 4B pencil is, is the best to use, uh, soft and you can rub it out without any impression. Well that's the end of this section but you can watch the next part by clicking on the screen here and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking here. See you soon!